This is breaking news. At breaking news, we're following the news no one wanted to hear. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, within the past few minutes, confirmed police found the body of the young man on the right side of your screen. That's 15-year-old Sequavius Hoya. Now, this comes four days after the MPD found the body of the boy's grandmother in Westwood. This is also where we find Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson tonight. Daniel, this is just a horrific ending to an already tragic story. Darren Dark, I tell you, it's hard to wrap your head around it. As I spoke with people today, they thought that this may be a reality, that the uh, grandson might be dead. As I uh, looked at the story today, as we put it together, we went as though he was still missing. But just before the 9 o'clock broadcast, we got the information from the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation that they had indeed found the body of 15-year-old Saquavius Hoyt. Let's show you a picture of him, his aunt, told me uh, just a little while ago that he was really a young person with an old soul. He was the light of his grandmother's life. Of course, they also found uh, her body not far from where I stand uh, tonight. Her, uh, the grandmother being a Neria Terman, uh, police believe she was killed at the hands of her boyfriend possibly in her house, that house being not far from where they discovered both of the bodies. Now, we know that Herman Hollis Brown does have a record, a pattern of domestic violence. He has been convicted of it before. That's what our research found. I asked the grandmother's uh, daughter, the aunt of the teen, about that relationship that her mother had with the suspect. This is what she told me. Take a listen. She loved people and she always was trying to save people. She tried to save him, but it pretty much was over, over with in her head, but she still wasn't going to put him out in the streets or nothing like that. Mm. But if he chose to leave, she would have been okay with that. She would have been fine with him leaving. Did she think she that he was... She took care of everything anyway. Mm. Did she think that he was capable of something like this? I don't think so. Yeah, I tell you, uh, it, it was just horrific. She tells me that they are still dealing with the news of all of this. Of course, they had already received the news that the grandmother had been found dead. She was found in woods right behind me right now. I'm at Solace and Ayers, if you're familiar with the area here in Westwood. And then just right in front of me across the street is where the family tells me that they found the body of uh, that 15 year old. I will be putting more of this story together. I tell you the details as to how they found uh, the body of the grandmother. They are graphic, but we are working on that part of the story for Fox 13 News at 10. Darcy. That is Fox 13's Daniel Wilkerson reporting live in Westwood tonight. Thank you so much, Daniel. Well, I hope you.